Good morning, YouTube, or whatever time of day it may be when you're watching this video. I am in the car. It is a little bit after 8.30 here in the morning, and I am on my way to the FedEx hub to pick up a brand new animal for here at Gecko Galaxy. So stay tuned. So as you can see, I made it to the FedEx. I am here just a tiny bit early and there are quite a few people here waiting to pick up stuff. So I might have to wait a few minutes to go in since they're only letting one person in at a time these days. Uh, but pretty soon I shall have the box in hand. Well, as you can see, I got the box. So uh, it's gonna take me probably about 20, 25 minutes to get home. And for you, that will be just about a few seconds. But I will see you then. All right, guys, so I am back home now. I've got the box here. And as you can see, this is how typically what reptiles look like when they're shipped. Um, I've gotten a couple of boxes from people who use reptiles to you. I'm not sure what the regulations are. I thought that the CITES regulations required you to have the common name and species name, or excuse me, the common name and scientific name of the animal marked on the box, but that doesn't appear on this box, so uh, in this case, I guess it just adds to the excitement. You really don't know what's in this box. Um, as you can see, I have cut this box open. I needed to make sure that everything was good with the shipment uh, before I started filming this segment. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it, and we're going to see exactly what is inside this box. Go ahead and cut into the tape here. up here the top styrofoam lid heat pack unfortunately unwrapped but uh, there is some packing here to keep it separate from whatever's inside so as you can see we've got some packing here some bubble wrap some paper and we're getting close there it is. This is our brand new female Pine Island Chihua Gecko. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get her out of here real quick. And then we'll go ahead and we'll talk about her a little bit. Alright guys, so you can see I have the little deli cup here that she came in. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and open it up and take her out. Just going to handle her for a couple minutes while I talk to you about this species and what my plans are for it, and then we'll go ahead and release it into its new enclosure, and that will be it. So we'll go ahead and just let her get acclimated for a while. But here she is. Look at that. What a beauty. Like I said, this is a Chihua gecko. Scientific name is Miniaro Gecko Chihua, and this is the Pine Island variety. So New Caledonia is an archipelago of islands in the South Pacific, and there are a bunch of endemic gecko species that live there. 
and uh, they're really popular in the pet trade right now to be working with. Um, as you know, I work with mainly New Caledonian gecko species currently. Um, I have a lot of crested geckos, some gargoyle geckos, and last year I was able to acquire a male Pine Island Chihua, so I've been on the lookout for a female, and I finally found the right deal. So this girl is gorgeous, and uh, they call her Pine Island Chihua because she comes from one of the insular islands of the New Caledonian Archipelago called Isle of Pines or Isle de Pines. So Pine Island. There's also a mainland variety, which has some different characteristics. Um, and generally we like to keep the bloodlines pure. So if you have Pine Islands, you want to make sure you breed them to Pine Islands. And if you have new mainlands, you can breed them to mainlands. These guys generally fetch a larger price tag um, than, the, or than the mainlands do. Um, and some of them can get really astronomical in price. They can have, uh, you know, upwards of, you know, five, ten thousand dollars in some cases for the much nicer ones. Uh, this one was a lot less expensive, definitely more in my price range, but still absolutely beautiful. Again, Chihua Gecko, um, one of the common names is Mossy Prehensile Tailed Gecko, and Mossy for obvious reasons. I mean, look at that pattern. She basically looks like lichen on a tree especially in her neck here. I mean, that if that doesn't look like lichen on a tree, I don't know what does. And then the prehensile tailed, as you can see, she uses that tail just like another limb, like a fifth limb to hang on to things. So she's prehensile tailed, just like a monkey. Absolutely beautiful. And so I have plans to uh, breed her to my male, but she's only about eight months old right now and sitting at about 50 grams. So I have to wait about another year and a half to get her ready to be able to breed. And even then, I don't have any guarantees that the pairing is going to work out. So fingers crossed we get that to work. Um, but patience is key when working with these geckos. A lot of these projects are really long term. You have to wait years to be able to really get into them. And I don't mind at all. I am excited to have her and I'm excited to get her um, up to size and see how she grows and changes over time and then hopefully in a couple of years produce some babies so there she is obviously i just got her so i don't have a name for her yet so if you guys want to participate in the naming process i'd like to try to keep my stuff space themed i am gecko galaxy i'm a space nerd hence the nasa shirt so um if you can think of a really cool female space based name please comment down below or comment whatever you like. I mean, if you comment something and I like it, who knows, it could be this one's new name. So I just want to get you guys involved. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, just stop messing with her right now. And the next time you see me, I will be putting her in her new enclosure. All right, so here's that new enclosure. If you watched my last video, you saw me show you how I set these up. So this has been waiting for her to arrive so we can go ahead and let her go in here now. So take her and just put her down. Let her crawl onto this little thing here. And she's got that beautiful piece of cork bark that's basically like a hollow tree. It's going to really create a natural a naturalistic piece of habitat for her. These guys, you know, are arboreal. They live in different layers of the trees and they get up in between bark cracks and stuff and they also get into hollow areas of trees so she should really like that and if you recall I set up this little feeding ledge right here so I'll go ahead and I'll get some food to put in there and she's got plenty of climbing branches and stuff and then she's got a water bowl down there which is pretty just a simple water bowl Again, I put water bowls with all my geckos, even though most of them do most of their drinking from when I miss down the enclosure. I just always like to make sure they have water available. So I'll go ahead and mist it down now. And this will just increase the humidity for a time and also give her a chance to drink. And she heard me pumping the, <laughs> she heard me pumping the spray bottle and didn't like it very much. But yeah, just give the tub a quick mist down. Don't want to get everything soaking wet, but just get everything a little bit moist. There we go. So now the humidity will spike in there and she will, she should be pretty happy with that. I don't know if we can see her. Yeah, 
There she is. She went right down inside that log. Acting just the way she should. So yeah. There we go. She is in her new enclosure. And I am very excited again to have her. Uh, thanks for coming on this journey with me, guys. And, uh... Yeah, we'll go ahead and get her set up in uh, in the gecko room, away from the other geckos, for a short quarantine period. And then we'll be right back. Alright guys, so thanks again for tuning in and watching another video here. Um, it was a lot of fun going and picking up this gecko. I've been excited about it for weeks. Um, I had to wait a little while to get her shipped until the weather improved, but... I'm very excited to now have a pair of Pine Island Chihua geckos. It really represents sort of the next step in my breeding projects here at Gecko Galaxy, working with New Caledonian species, so I'm very excited. And I will definitely keep you updated on their progress um, as time goes on. We'll do some videos on that, and we'll talk about, you know, their care and stuff. Uh, that's definitely an idea for a video. Uh, comment down below if you got an idea, something you want to see from me. Uh, if you want to see my geckos, if you want me to talk about particular species, or um, if you want to see some more herping, please let me know. Uh, I am sorry for the lateness of me posting this video, but it's one of those things where um, I've had some health issues that have cropped up, unfortunately, but I think I'm going to be okay. So um, there's just been a slight delay in me being able to get this stuff finished and posted to YouTube. So um, all you people who follow me and everyone who comments on the videos and likes them, I really appreciate it. Um, I, I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate it. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please do like the video, comment down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel uh, so, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Um, again, I really appreciate it and uh, I will see you in the next video.